Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Christoph Acton and I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist and in today's video we unbox a life-size skeleton model and then we build it together. So let's get started. That's the box, let's open it. Nice. Okay, so this looks nice. So it's, you know, for the most part it's already assembled and I'm gonna take out all the pieces now. Well, nothing in there. The most important thing is called a little bit closer. Okay. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can even take the skull off. No. It's not, oh, there's <laughs> there's something in the nose. Let's find out. I hope it's not some kind of like drugs or anything. Some teeth. Okay. So, let's start with here the hands. Just gonna show you everything here. And then we can have a look in more detail later. This is pelvis. We go through all these things here in a second. One skull and then the lower legs or the legs. Okay, so the toes are completely off here, but I think this is just wires in the back. Oh yeah, so there's already a dislocation of the Lisfranc joint here, first TMT joint, as you can see. No, we don't want that. So basically I fixed the toes, as you can see, the alignment is now fine. Even the first tarsal metatarsal joint looks fine. Looks fine. The rest of the tibia, proximal tibia fibular joint, that's fine. So it's nice. The patella has some mobility. So there's also this wire, as you can see here, there's a wire that's fixing it here. That's okay. The bone itself, you know, it's okay. That looks fine. So the femoral torsion, it's zero. As you can see, the, or I'm not sure if you can actually see this. No, you know, it's wobbling around. That's not a good position either here. <laughs> it's a little bit too far on the radial side here for my liking, but it's fine. So we try to keep it on this place and you can see why. So spine, we can start at the top, cervical spine. There's even a hyoid bone here, which is not really there. Uh, they have to, oh, the vertebral artery is there. That is there. And then we've got the nerve roots here. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure where the arteries are going, but this is, you know, the basilar artery. And we want to have it up here. Then we have the sternum, fused manubrium and corpus articulation, clavicular bone, AC joint here. It's okay. Clenoid, we're gonna... Yeah, scapula looks nice. Then lumbar spine. Looks really nice, so you could easily use this for... Hey, there, there is even a disc herniation. Can you see that? It's an extra foraminal disc herniation. It's not the most frequent one. You can I put this in? No, there as well. Then we have the pelvis. Here, pubic symphysis, hip. It's all nice, okay. And now it's just about putting everything together. I'm not sure if I actually need instructions. So one of the wheels has a brake, so I can prevent it from rolling around. Okay, so you can see there's a little screw here. With that, we are able to fix it onto the acetabulum. Over there, go. Sunrise is just for you. 
and the and sorry, no, broken mandibular. No, it's just dislocated, so all good. So that was the assembly of the uh, skeleton here, and now let's have a look here. So I'm actually very happy. So, you know, it's about the same height as I am, so that's already nice. And let's have a look. So the skull sits a bit deep, but that's fine, and we don't care too much about the skull anyways. Uh, it's a musculoskeletal radiology YouTube channel. Then shoulder joint, obviously it's nice, so we can move around. So I will be able to explain certain concepts uh, of the shoulder. This will be my very first video that I'm using this for, very nice. Then, yeah, elbow, you can flex it. That's nice. We've got some crippled fingers again. Now the little pieces here, I think they will potentially also allow for illustration of some certain ligaments and tendons. So I'm looking forward to that as well. The spine, well, people don't really have too much problems with the spine anyways. We've got the sacroiliac joints. Here, ischial tuberosity, that's fine. So the hip, let's have a look at the hip. So I think it's nice to illustrate what would happen with some impingement kind of things, but then again, you know, it doesn't allow the full rotation. It's very narrow, the acetabulum is very narrow, but I think I should be able to demonstrate a couple of things there. That's all right, other side is the same. And the knee, Knee is great, lots of space. I can have good mobility here. Um, should be able to do some stuff there. And certainly also with the ankle, I think, you know, the ankle will be quite nice to illustrate some of the ligaments and tendons and, you know, what that then looks like on MRI. So overall, I'm very happy with the purchase here. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. I will have to give this guy a name and we will find out more how we can, as a community, come up with a name for this guy. Also, we have a little contest or something like that. And make sure you subscribe because yeah, you won't miss any videos doing with this guy. Okay, and that's the final shot.